All right, the painting directions call for 70% white, 30% cobalt blue. I don't have cobalt blue. I've got blue. I got a couple of different colors of blue. I got flat blue. It's pretty close to cobalt blue. I have sky blue. And I have medium blue. I'm going to use a medium blue. I'm not going to use the mixture they called for either. So I've got my white here. And what I'm going to do is 60 drops of white. And it's going to take me a bit to do this. Okay? But I'm going to do 60 drops of white. So I got 62 drops. I'm gonna lid that. I'm gonna go clean this out because I don't wanna contaminate my blue. I'll be back in a second. All right, now I'm gonna use 10 drops of this blue and see what color I get. I'll add more blue if I think I need it. Now, when you're mixing colors like this, you always wanna go from the light color to the dark color because, well, it just works better that way. Light color to dark. And it's coming out about the shade of blue I want, kind of a bluish gray. I don't want Deslox to be too blue, okay? I'm gonna have five more drops of the blue. Okay, six. So right now we got 60 drops white, 16 drops blue. Now mixing that up real well so I got a nice even color. And I'm going to go with that. Now I got to add thinner to match. Okay? So I'm going to go clean this up and add some thinner. Back in a bit. All right, so now I've got 76 drops in there. I'm going to add 76 drops of thinner. Okay, I lied. I added 70 drops. My paint was a little too thin last time for this airbrush. So I'm cutting the amount of thinner down just a teeny bit. Now let me mix this up. I'm using a bamboo skewer for mixing my paints. That's just about the color I wanted for Deslox. pretty thin down too. I kind of want her pretty thin for what I'm going to do next. All right, there we go. I got her mixed up. Coming about the right color I want. I want kind of a light blue to her. Put the paint mixer away. Uh, I got my dropper, got my airbrush. Let's get my paints and stuff out of the way so I don't get anything in my way. Power is to my airbrush, my compressor. I'm gonna get a piece of paper towel to practice paint on real quick. Not only that, I know, I know a lot of you have said you don't practice your painting on a piece of paper towel. I do. A couple of reasons. One, if there's any color left in that airbrush, the paper towel will catch it. And two, I'm more trying to get a feel for the paint flow. 
and how much I need to press down to get my paint flowing the way I want than anything. I'm not trying to practice painting on curved surfaces. I'm just trying to get used to how much paint comes out when I press the airbrush a certain way. All right, and I don't see any splatters. I don't see any weird colors coming out of this. So I'm gonna start painting her. Now, what I'm trying to achieve here is not uniform coverage at the moment. I will be trying some of that in certain places like these spines. And my paint's a little on the low, thin side, I can tell that. Because she's bubbling and she's wet. That's okay. I'm not trying to get her all painted in one time. I also want to build up color as I go. I'm not trying to color coat this entire model right now. I got the recipe for my paint colors. So I can come in and make more if I need to. And the big key here is to not rush. I'm trying to puddle the colors like I am in certain areas. Now I'm going to make another pass and another pass. I want more intense color away from those panel lines and all my pre-shading. I don't want heavy, heavy color where my panel line paint is. So I'm not trying to paint those real dark right now. I'm just trying to build up some color around them. I'll come back and just build up more color and more color as I go. And I'm achieving my goal right now from what I'm trying to do. Now, to be honest with you, this would probably be easier with the Badger 105 or the Pache because this airbrush is for fine details, not for what I'm using it for right here. I'm using it because I'm trying to learn how to use this airbrush. I want to learn how to play down paint with this airbrush. So to me, the best way is to get in here and get painting. I can already tell right now, I like this color for Deslocks. This is the exact color I was looking for. She's supposed to be blue. You can tell by that color there. I'm not painting her that color. I want her lighter. Because I personally think that color was no good. It was too blue. Who's going to have a bright, bright blue spaceship? And then again, this is anime. And I can tell I got some issues with my paint mixture. It's a little thin in places. It's running in a few spots. That's okay. New airbrush again. That's why I'm doing this. I'm practicing with the new airbrush. Now, I almost got too much paint in that one spot. Right here. Almost got too much. It's The color built up a little too thick too quickly on me. Okay. And that was not my intent. So that's why I got to go slow and careful with this thing to get the colors built up the way I want them. Again, I'm not trying to rush. Rushing does not accomplish my goal. She'll get painted when I'm done. I'm going to quit boring you guys. You get the idea. I'll come back when I'm further along. All right, everyone. Here's an intermediate step. I went over and sprayed the color coat on the whole thing. It's starting to do some of what I want. I like how this is turning out along there. I just need to keep hitting it, going over it slowly from the front back to the front until I get the colors the way I want them. I'm going to load up the airbrush and give her another round. I dumped a whole color cup on it. Back to more, I will 
Come back after I've done the next coat. All right, everyone. I'm done painting for the night. It's I've spent too much time on this, and I got to quit. And I'm out of mixed color. I got to remix the color tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you what I ended up with. Okay. I got lots of color variation on this thing. Lots of it. And I'm, I'm going to hit it with another couple of coats of paint. But you can see what I'm trying to achieve is keep some darkening around the panel lines. Darkening around the base of the engines. And I'm achieving that for the most part. It's not 100% perfect. I'm getting there. The front of this is supposed to be black. Inside here is supposed to be yellow and red. And I'll take care of that. The inside of these are supposed to be pink. I'm going to hit these with the black paint in a little bit. So next time I paint, I'm painting the inside of these black, and then I'm going to hit it with the bluish paint again. So this needs another round of paint like I just did. Maybe two more rounds of paint like I just did before it's done. But again, you can see the effect I'm trying to achieve. Okay? So I just wanted to show you guys. We got a lot of colors to do. The bridge up here is supposed to be orange. I want to hit all these windows and panel lines and darken them up a teeny bit. Mainly the windows are going to hit with micron pens because I'm not going to try to paint those by hand. And the tips of these are supposed to be black, so I'm going to hit those, but I'm going to brush paint that. Okay, I'm going to have to redo this nose too. That nose is supposed to be black, and I like the subtle hint around the edge. Then I'm going to blacken it up again, and like I said, the insides of these need to be blackened. So I got some work to do yet, but I like what's coming out of it. Oh yeah, my broken part? You can see it a little bit. It's a little flatter in one spot than it should be, but it's not bad. So I'm going to let her sit for the night. I'll be back later to show you what I've done. Thunder pause. Lightsaber. Who will win? He's lamer now. He was better earlier. There we go. Getting some action in that cat. <laughs> Not hitting that hard. He's just not into it now, is he? Not like he was a few minutes ago. He was after this thing. Okay, we lost the fun factor in this. Yeah, we did. Like my new toy? <laughs> <laughs>